Hello there, guys! How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good by my usual standards, low as they may be, but I'm, I'm doing okay. Welcome back to Brugsaw 2 Shadow of the Templars Part 5. I told you it wouldn't be a month, nothing like it. So, I did what I said at the end of Part 4, which is. do a little bit on my own. Hey, Nico! Um, non recording. Do all the complicated what should I talk about, where should I go parts. I'm um, not too far ahead, you know, so. Or uh, I'll get beyond where I went up to or not, I don't know. I want some surprises. But generally, um, they'll be a lot smoother now because I don't want episodes to be too long. Hola, senora. Hi. We were wondering. I was talking to the lady, Chico. Hi. My name is Nicole Collard. Concha Garcia. How can I help you, sister? The corporation I represent is considering a major investment in Cuaramonte. Your advice, as the head of an obviously successful concern, is precisely what I'm after. My assistant, Mr. Stobart, has a few questions he'd like to ask you. Yes, I do. That was an impression. Okay, so important things to talk about are the coal. You see this? It's my lucky piece of coal. What's so lucky about it? I'm not sure yet. For another strange thing to happen, here we go. Nice buns. The guy with, what well, I think, uh, really strangely long looking legs, is not wearing any pants. It doesn't like he's got any nadgers either. Okay, let's talk about the mine. Can you tell me about the accident at the mine? Accident? It was sabotage. Somebody wanted my mind closed down for good. Well, I bet it was a general who I can't talk about. Uh, let's talk about that mine Do again. you have any evidence that the mine was sabotaged? Not yet, but I'll get to the bottom of it. There'd been trouble at that mine for several months. The workforce was getting smaller every day. Someone had started a rumor among the men that the mine was cursed. Now the entire operation has been closed down. I guess. Where's the site of the mine? Several days upriver at a remote area known as Teokulkan. Uh, do you know about Condor? Do you recognize the icon on this label? Condor Transglobal. Did the company operate here in Caramonte? Yes, they ran an old container ship, the Mayan Princess. Mm hmm. Um. Do you know who again? owned Condor Transglobal? I have no idea. Right. Um, Ubia. Do you know Professor Ubia? Yes. I understand he is about to embark on an archaeological expedition. He hired some equipment from me earlier today. I overheard him talking to the general. I think they're working together. What? If I'd known that, I wouldn't have hired out the equipment. Now, why would the general be interested in an archaeologist? Um... I don't think I need to talk to you about anything else. So, after that, I went out. Oh, I wish it was off screen travel. Fast travel, you know. Oh well. And uh, then I went back over to where Dwayne is, off to the right. And the professor, he better be this time as well, had sod it off. Right, uh, truck. Why did you bring a huge truck like that? George, I'm on a top-secret classified mission for Uncle Sam. This truck is a rolling bomb. 400 pounds of nitrate fertilizer with a plastic initiator. They'll hear the bang in China. Gee, I'm really looking forward to this. Did you know that traditional music is illegal in Caramonte? Is that so? Seems reasonable to me. No, really. The leader of the band in the square has been in prison just because of the music he played. I don't know who you've been talking to, but that fella, Miguel, he's an agitator. 
Miguel. What's the real reason the musician was imprisoned? Handed out subversive literature at the mines. That so-called general was waiting for Miguel when he got back into town. Marched him off to jail at gunpoint on a charge of inciting a riot. Hmm. Is Miguel the reason you're here? Pretty smart, George. I was supposed to make contact with him. By the time I found him, though, he was in jail. I've been trying to figure out a way to get him out since then. Sounds good to me. Count me in. Good man, George. All I need is a detonator. How come you brought a truckload of explosives but no detonator? Call me old-fashioned, but I say packing trunks is woman's work. I left the packing to Pearl and I can't find a darn thing. Just hope she remembered to bring my denture polish. I'd sure hate to arrive back in the States with tar on my teeth. Okay, just uh, just a little something here. Um, while I'm recording this, I've uh, got on a show called, on mute, called Countdown. Which I think is only here in Britain, I don't know. The point is, um, it's an ad words game. However, while they were talking, I was glancing up at the screen. Only people who've ever watched Countdown will understand the importance of this, but... I just solved the end Countdown conundrum faster than the actual contestants. Anyway, back to this game, and we get a detonator from here. Or at least we want to get a detonator from here, so let's ask for one. Do you have any kind of detonating device in stock? Sure. They're kept in that cupboard. I don't suppose you have one spare. I can't simply give you a device like that, no without a damn good reason. Chart. The general has a chart in his office, which he was discussing with Ubier. Perhaps that chart will tell us where they're heading. Maybe, but I can't get anywhere near it while the general and his sidekick are there. Okay, I knew it was worth clicking on that chart, even though I knew it wouldn't get to me. Okie dokie, so I don't think I had to do anything else after that, but what I need to do is uh, get Nico to uh, take the general away. Could you distract the general while I took a look at that chart? You're kidding! Did you see the way he was leering at me? Yeah, you'd make a great snake charmer. Come on, five minutes is all I need. Well, maybe, but it's your harebrained scheme. You do the talking. Already, Rue. Should apologize, really, to you guys for not really thinking of the do it in advance and make it quicker before, because got to like the next sort of proper stage, if you will. Took eight minutes, so much better, wouldn't you say? Okay, General Graciento. I can't ask him about the chat. My I? girlfriend has a favor she wants to ask you, General. For you, my dear. Anything. <laughs> yes, I'll stand I've in changed our my mind. Oh, no, you haven't. Uh, she's embarrassed about asking you for an interview, General. An interview? With me? Fabuloso! Well, I... Uh, I want to write a story about you. You hear that, Ronaldo? An exclusive glossy spread about your beloved general. Yeah. Si, senor general. Look after things here. I'm going back to my apartment and I don't want to be disturbed. I'll get you for this, George Tobar. Don't worry. If you're gone for more than a couple of hours, I'll come and get you. A couple of hours? Bye-bye, Nico. Have fun. Alright. I think I was just able to talk to him about the pyramid straight away. Thinky think think think. Would you take my friend to the ruins now the general's gone? I'd be honored, senor. Thanks. I'll go get her. Okay. Alrighty. So then we'll go. 
Get Pearl, get rid of Ronaldo, look at the chat. And carry onwards. Oh, Pearl! I've made the arrangements for your visit to the temple, Pearl. Oh, that's just great, George. Why don't you come too, honey? I'd love to, but right now I have to save the world. Would that excuse really work? I'm gonna use the next time I wanna get out of something. Listen, sweetie. I'm looking for an official guide to take me to the old pyramid. For a lovely lady, I would go to the ends of the earth. For you, I will go as far as the pyramid and back. But what about your husband? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Let's go, Beanpole. Was that like a very thinly veiled insult? For a lovely lady, I'd go to the ends of the earth. As oh, you poor as the set up for the man. ruined pyramid, I prepared to search the police station. Genius. Any sort of insult without blatantly doing it. It looked like a geological survey map showing the land to the southeast of Cuauhtemonte City. About 60 miles inland and upstream was an area marked Teokulkan. Teokulkan, the place she uh, mentioned is where the mine was. I can't seem to exit. It's off screen. There we go. Alright, just do a little smidge more. Little smidge more. And we go back to the mine place. God damn you and your lack of fast travel. Am I gonna risk pressing shift and click? No, no, I am not. No, it is pile of crap laptop. Crap top. It was an easy pun, but I had to go for it. Okay, Cantita. Uh, chart. I got a good look at that chart in the police station. It's a map of Cuaramonte. Does it tell us where Ubier is heading? Yeah. A place called Teokulkan. That's the site of the mine. I wonder why they're being so secretive about Ubier's plans. <laughs> One thing's for sure. If the general's involved, they're up to no good. I'd like to talk to that musician, Miguel. Take the detonator and get him out of that jail. Alrighty then. Cup boy. When Dan and Edith safely tucked away in George's pants. So, the last thing I should do before I wrap up episode 5 is I'll go give the Dan and to Dwayne. Keep shuffling along, Georgie boy. We got works to do and things to explode. Music kicking in again. Yeah, I have a dead ain't a boy. Here is the detonator, Dwayne. Keep your voice down, George. You want everyone to know. You'd best go and warn Miguel that the U.S. Cavalry's on the way. Okay. Alrighty, I'll do that as I wrap this episode up. Thank you as always, guys, for joining me on this uh, broken, soddy adventure. I think of a better word for it. Um, obviously, like I said in part four, it shows knowing what you're doing before you start recording means you can do things a lot swiftier and make stuff more interesting. So I just stand right towards the exit. Join me for part six. It won't be very long, I promise you that. Where we're probably gonna get to blow stuff up. And again, I'll do 
This is about as far as I got when I was just checking around before. Obviously, it took longer than 15 minutes last time. <sighs> anyway, guys, join me for part six where we'll hopefully get to blow something up. Uh, have a wonderful day, and as always, no matter what, never surrender. Goodbye, guys. I will suffer. I will